Let's talk Ruma just hilarious. Has it, Ruma, Ruma has it. Call out a name or you gossiping or you chatty right, patty. I'm gossiping. This is the rumor report. I mean, I guess we on the Breakfast Club. This is where the tea spills, right? Yes. Right. Now, yesterday uh, was announced that Jess Hilarious will be the third co-host here on The Breakfast Club. She starts next Monday, February 5th. Yes, indeed. And people were super duper excited. A bunch of people wanted to say congratulations to her, like uh, B. Simone, uh, Tammy Roman, Taylor Bennett, uh, D. Ray Davis, My Sister's a Star, Earthquake, congratulations, sis. Do that ish, much love. Uh, Portia, said supreme rollout then uh claudia jordan happy for you jess hilarious nene leaks congrats congrats jess so many people just wanted to send uh warm wishes and also it was, uh, a, it was a fantastic rollout by it way. was great 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 job and salute to uh ovo eli and nick for uh doing the content for that excuse me they they recorded it they didn't record it hmm. <laughs> okay okay Continue, Red. Can I finish what I'm saying? No. Salute to uh, Eli, OVO Eli, and... Uh, We're a team here. Yes, okay. we are, but I'm just going to salute them. I want, can I finish what I'm saying, please? No, no too bad. <laughs> salute to uh, OVO Eli <laughs> and Nick can't. for uh, taping that. Uh, Charlemagne, salute for you, because Charlemagne I did was, nothing. Charlemagne was all I over... I did nothing. I've done nothing Shut on this up! show for the past 14 years. i just be here. Nothing, okay? Salute the club. Now, salute the Santa Shop and Ocho No, so I want to salute. salute. No, salute. man. Shout out. Salute no, to no, Charlemagne no. and everybody that put that thing together. And again, congratulations <laughs> to Jess Hilarious. Yeah, salute to Jess Hilarious. Now, also. Drop on the clues, Bob's Bob. Good sister, Jess Hilarious. Would you let me do my last rumors? I got four days left. No. And also, <laughs> Shannon Sharp <laughs> talked about Jess Hilarious, and they wanted to congratulate her as well. Ojo, we got to give a congratulations to uh, Jess Hilarious. She's the new co-host of The Breakfast Club. Hey. DJ Envy and Charlemagne the God. Okay. So congratulations to her. Congratulations, um, Jess. Y'all bring yeah. y'all bring me on. I tell you what I didn't know. Look, what I know she's happened? a comedian. Yo, she's and just, I did, fu just funny now. Yeah. yeah just her funny body now. ain't no laughing matter, though. Excuse I didn't me? know she was like that. What? Oh, her body? Ooh. Like my like, like, body. Yada, 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 body. Oh. Nope. Body on th oh. Yes, hilarious. What? Nope. Boy, ain't, ain't nothing funny about that. Nope. Boy, I ain't know that. I did not know Ocho. I yeah. just like, okay, let me see. You know, yeah. so I, you know, I got two phones, Ocho. I pull up different site. Right. I'm dropped up down. Enough. Like that? <laughs> nah, Uncle you bull. Man, I'm saying like something too. Hey, like Kyrie dribbling two basketball. Hey, man, <laughs> you gotta go. I feel like we had a cookout in the summer, and I, I gotta, gotta tell go. my partners, hey, don't be looking at my sister like that. That's wrong with you, <laughs> okay? Go. And she's young enough to be your daughter. Right? Get out, Uncle. Shannon, you 55, <laughs> just 31. Cut it out, okay? Talk about Kyrie Irving. What the hell, Kyrie Irving got to do with this? I want you to, I want you to see just the way Kyrie Irving sees the earth. Okay, flat. It's, flat. it's flat. You don't see nothing. Cut it out, Uncle. All right. Uh, Drop on the clues bombs for Shannon Sharp and Ocho Cinco. Okay. Salute to, I saw Ocho Cinco uh, last year at the airport. I forgot where I was at. I think Vegas or something. Mm -hmm. Salute to Ocho Cinco. Salute to uh, Shannon Sharp. Love what y'all doing over there, man. Okay. Now, all the papers, all the new paper talk about the trailer bowl. The trailer That's bowl. That's right. The trailer bowl. I'm glad you said that. The trailer bowl. Say it again, Envy. You want, you want, you want smoke with the Swifties. Say it. Say it again. The, the trailer, trailer bowl. bowl. That's right. Why is it the trailer bowl? Because the trailer park trash? What you saying, Envy? I'm reading from the post. <laughs> what is it the tra why they say the trailer I, bowl? I, I didn't get that far. They just said it's the trailer bowl. They said why is it the trailer bowl? Why, why, why were you saying? <laughs> <What is that? laughs> I thought you were saying trailer park trash. <laughs> no, I wasn't saying that. Travis oh, Travis and Taylor, so it's trailer. Oh, where were you going? He said trailer park. I, I just thought you was insulting all her fans for no reason. I was with you. I had he was excited. Back. Let's go, MP. <laughs> let's go, trailer. Yes, yeah, go. <laughs> <laughs> I had your back. I was like, let's go. <laughs> let's go. <laughs> What we doing? <laughs> now, they're saying that um, a couple of things. Well, they're saying that the Super Bowl tickets went up, uh, they believe, 33%. Now, tickets oh, on average on, is $12,000. The lowest price you can get on a ticket is $9,800, which is 70% more expensive than last year's big game. I know they're not attributing that to Taylor Swift. Now, they're also saying all the private jets, uh, the reservations for jets landing is sold out. So if you have a private jet, you can't land in, oh, the, come on, in the spot because so many private jets will be landing. That ain't got nothing to do with Taylor Swift. Uh, they also, United Airlines uh, is doing something special for all Kansas City Chiefs and Taylor Swift fans. They are adding more flights from Kansas City to Vegas. And they're naming it like after her album, like Flight Why? 1989, which is her album. Flight uh, 22, I guess, which is her album in 87, which is Kelsey's number. 
Uh, We're not doing this. Yeah, so that that's what they're doing. We're not doing this the next two weeks. This is why so many of us was hoping the Ravens beat the Chiefs because we knew that everyone and their mother was going to be talking about Taylor Swift for the next couple of weeks, right? We're not doing that. And here's the thing. Black people, I'm talking to you right now. We have the tendency to elevate things by talking about how much we don't like them. We're not doing that with Taylor because what happens, uh, we're going to do that, and then all the Swifties and everyone who loves Taylor are going to start defending Taylor, and before you know it, it's a civil war on social media, and all the chatter is about Taylor. No, let's keep the chatter about Usher Raymond the Fourth. Okay, and Usher uh, continuing to get his much deserved flowers at the Super Bowl in Vegas uh, in two weeks. That's all we should be discussing. Well, this is the last thing. They're saying uh, Super Bowl viewership go. is expected to increase by 15 million if Taylor Swift attends. No. She has a show in Japan the night before, so they're trying to figure out if she will make it in time. And now you could actually bet. To see if Kelsey man, is going to propose man. to Taylor Swift at the Super Bowl. What's the odds on that, Red? Did you check the odds on that? Or you didn't check the odds on that? You didn't check the odds on that. So. So, so it has nothing to do with the fact that the San Francisco 49ers are one of the most storied franchises in NFL history. They've won, like, what, five Super Bowls, I believe? It's not, it has nothing to do with the fact that Kansas City, the Kansas City Chiefs are, like, the newest dynasty in the NFL. They've been to the Super Bowl four out of the last five years. It has nothing to do with that. It has nothing to do with the fact that Usher Raymond the fourth. It's performing at halftime. It's all because of Taylor Swift. Hey, if y'all can get the hell out of here. Hey, they say if Taylor Swift attends, they say uh, the viewership's going to increase by 15 million. Man, shut up, man. I hope They're already come. tracking her plane to see when her concert's over in Japan and she flies back to see her, her boo play in the Super Bowl. Man, please. You think you're going to propose? I don't care. <laughs> Leave me alone. Super Bowl is the biggest thing every year in America as far as viewing. And now all of a sudden, y'all going to attribute these hundreds of millions of people who've been watching the Super Bowl for years to Taylor Swift? Cut it out, man. Yeah, they're saying the average price of a 30-second uh, advertising spot went up, and they said it sold out because Taylor Swift is going to be going to Super The all-time record for Super Bowl viewers was set in 2015 for the Patriots versus the Seahawks. It was $114 million. Last year's ratings for Kansas City versus Philadelphia drew 112 million viewers. Okay? <laughs> the, America already watches the Super Bowl. Cut it out, man. And lastly, they have a, another bet to see who's going to be right. Taylor, Taylor right, Swift. Commercial, please go to commercial right now. You right. know who's Come gonna on, be in Ray, Taylor Swift right. Super Bowl box? Travis Kelsey. That's you who. Know? That's the only person gonna be in Taylor Swift box. Okay, that's his girl. <laughs> go to go to the commercial, right? Please. Wake that ass up Early in the morning. The Breakfast Club.